Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film these weekly Solo Trip Podcast episodes, as well as loads of other videos here on YouTube. And we're talking about all things spirituality and metaphysics, and the occult and relationships and so much more. So I literally haven't filmed in over a month and it feels really weird to sit here in front of the camera again and we have a new backdrop and everything because I've moved everything around and in this whole month so much has happened so I literally don't even know where to start, not just in my own life and in like my mental space but also in the world. There's so much going on right now that it's a bit overwhelming and a bit like kind of crazy really. So I feel like this video we're just gonna kind of touch on everything and why I disappeared for a whole month. I think it might even be over a month by now. But yeah, so like just the craziness that's kind of going on right now. So I did have to take a bit of a break because sometimes you kind of reach a point where you're doing the same thing over and over again and you need to switch it up. Like it starts to feel a bit boring and a bit of a drag and yeah, you just need to spice things up a bit because nobody wants to do the same shit over and over again if they're not enjoying it. So I just wanted to take a bit of a kind of break from YouTube and figure out what I actually wanted to do on this channel because if you've watched my videos for a while, you know that I've wanted to create a YouTube channel for absolute years, like since I was probably 18 or something, 17, 18, back when YouTube kind of was really starting to take off and stuff and I held back fear, self-doubt, all of those kind of things so I didn't end up doing it but now that I am I still feel like I have to talk myself into it and like convince myself of why I should do it and the fact that I'm like good enough to do it and worthy enough of doing it and everything so I wanted to switch up my content finally and actually do all of the things that I really want to talk about, all of the things I'm actually passionate about rather than holding back so much, you know? And that kind of leads into the title of this video, which is about regenerating self and how everything happens in cycles. Because if you think about it, it has been years of me trying and stopping and even the last two years of being consistent and stuff there's still been gaps in between where I would try and then stop and I've kind of come to the revelation now where this happens with every aspect of our life not just YouTube not just career or whatever it is that you want to do not just hobbies that you're passionate about but literally everything like every aspect of our lives we start to do something and like you'll do it in a certain way with a certain perspective but then growth always always happens so things always change and it goes in a cycle where you constantly come back around to the same thing the same lesson the same perspective until you integrate it and then you elevate and move on to the next one you know but it always happens in cycles and you just have to kind of flow with that rather than resist that and I would always resist that for so fucking long even now kind of yeah, even now. <laughs> but I'm realising how important it is to become aware of that fact so then you can learn how to flow with it rather than constantly resisting. So I realised that with my own, because I can only really talk about with myself and my own experience, but with my experience in YouTube and stuff, I definitely would start and stop and everything. And like when you want to do something, you can't just jump into perfection or into it being the like the mastered version of that thing you know you're not going to master it instantly so you're going to trial and error it like you're going to try and do something and you'll do it in one way and then when you're ready to kind of move to the next step you may change certain things and you just change as you go it's not going to be perfect instantly and I would always want it to be perfect instantly like I need that shit to be incredible right now I don't want it to be bad and like not the perfect image you know but you don't even have the perfect image in your head because what you perceive to be perfect right now is gonna change in a few years time if that makes any sense so it's just constantly going to be changing and evolving and sometimes you actually have to take rest and take a break and take time off before you can then go full force with the new way of doing things and with the improved way of doing things you know so I kind of would beat myself up for that and feel like that was taking 10 
steps back to have a rest but it actually helps propel you even further forward so that is kind of why I disappeared for like a month because I just wanted to revamp everything and I had to work through the mental blockages that were stopping me from being able to sit here and do it you know because it is kind of terrifying to put yourself out there in front of the world and also having a month off from doing that then when you go back to do it it literally feels like you're starting back at square one because you then have to work through getting comfortable again on camera and stuff. Like sometimes it's not just falling back into it naturally, if that makes sense. Sometimes you actually have to work at it <laughs> and practice it before you become really comfortable. So yeah, I just thought I would put this message out there as well because I know that we all deal with certain things that we're trying to do and trying to achieve or trying to become, you know? And you have to go really easy on yourself because it is a lesson and it is a process and it does take time and patience and those are kind of the things that we don't actually want to accept or live with, you know. We don't want to be patient, we want it now, especially in today's world with everything being so fast paced and so instant, you know. So it can be really hard to like try something and then need to stop and figure out more ways to do it and like brainstorm new ideas you know and then try again so yes that is where I've been and what I've been doing and really kind of uncovering the mental blockages because as I've said before like I always would struggle with self-doubt and stuff so this is like really testing that right now I'm <laughs> really testing those fears you know but in order to move forward and to change them we have to face them and acknowledge that they're there so now we are back with lots of new series because I also wanted to touch on other things that I'm really passionate about and not just spirituality and metaphysics and those kind of things. I also want to go into relationships because I feel like this whole world, this whole experience is all about connection and interactions with other people, you know, and I always get so many DMs that ask for my advice and stuff on relationships. So I feel like it's something that I'm passionate about and something that I'm learning every goddamn day because we're always being triggered and always being tested in relationships and stuff. So yeah, I'm excited to create that series and it's going to be called Mirror Mirror, but we'll be getting into that in the first episode of it, which is also coming this week. So that is one series that I'm doing. And then there's also going to be another series called Consciously Create, which is all about business and money and branding and social media marketing and all of that kind of stuff because it's something that I obviously have to do and learn every single day to be able to even build this brand and do this kind of thing you know so I definitely want to share what I learn because I'm really passionate about it and it does excite me a little bit probably a little bit geeky with that kind of thing but I just love it because it's I don't know I just find it fun, especially when it pays off, like when you learn a new thing and then you implement it and then it pays off and it works and it's good, you know, it kind of excites me. <laughs> I feel like I'm being really weird with this. But yeah, so I'm going to be creating that series as well. And what was I going to say? Like, it won't just be about music. It will be about everything, like any business that you want to do, as well as the music industry and stuff like that. So I'll also touch on that in the first video of that series, which is also coming this week, because we are now doing three videos a week, which I know is kind of a lot, especially considering I'm doing music as well. But sometimes... You just gotta follow what you're passionate about and remember to take breaks, you know, this as well, take days off to rest. And then when I go back into it, I'm ready and excited to do it. So yes, this is kind of the introduction to all of these new series and just where I've been because it has been a minute, I know. But, you know, normally I would punish myself for that. And we're not gonna do that this time because we needed the break. And I've also, um, had to order loads of new equipment like music equipment and stuff like that so that's why everything has literally been on hold for a whole month and it's kind of been a bit of a torture process in a way because when you stop and then you can't actually go and do something again it does make you feel a bit like you're stagnant and like you're not moving forward and that is the worst feeling for me I don't like feeling like I'm not progressing so yeah I did have to work through that a little bit because what can you do if you're having to wait for equipment you can't actually physically do anything so yeah and then obviously we're still in isolation as well so 
the world is kind of going a bit crazy at the minute and there's a lot of protests going on which I fully support like I do think that it's a necessary thing to do because there's so much inequality in this world and so many things are shifting and so many things are changing but I know it can also be um kind of scary in a way like I've had to process a lot of fear that's come up with this because it's a lot of unknown at least in our body like it feels unknown because we can't remember we're not although we're connected to our higher self like we don't always access that part of ourselves because we are still experiencing a human experience and like oftentimes you can forget to even connect with that part of yourself you can forget that it's even there you know so we do tend to or at least I do tend to fall into this experience and kind of like mentally I mean kind of fall into this human perspective and forget the spiritual and like your power you know you kind of forget your power and the fact that it's already played out and already planned because time's not linear and when you remember that then you can kind of breathe a little easier and then work through your emotions and process them a lot easier than if you weren't reminded of that perspective you know so yeah I know things are a little bit up in the air at the minute and a little bit crazy but the changes that are happening right now although they are scary and although they are a bit holy fuck (laughs) kind of thing I don't even know what other word to use to describe it it's a little bit like oh god but everything is unfolding exactly as it needs to and we're in a really really powerful time right now a really powerful shift and like there's nothing to be scared of what this is is guiding you into your power even more you know like we're crumbling so many systems that don't benefit us anymore and never have really but obviously we um didn't have the internet back then and stuff like that so we weren't aware of the a lot of the things that were happening but now that we are aware now that we can see it we're able to change it and I think that's the key thing to remember here is that things are not worse they're exactly as they've always been but we're just aware of them we're aware of the things that happen, you know, that's why it's called a fucking conspiracy theory, because it's the, like, the truth of what's actually happening, but it sounds so far-fetched and so extreme and out there that you wouldn't think or want to believe that it would be true, but a lot of them are true, not all of them, I'm sure there's some that aren't, but a lot of them are true, and they just sound so extreme, because it's like, why would that even happen, you know? but it has been happening and now we can finally stand up and say like this is not acceptable anymore and we get to step into our power because we now understand how this universe works and how powerful our minds are you know so we can literally use our magic and our tools that we have like crystals and things like that to really harness our own power and our own vibration to create the change that we want to see like we create it by embodying it by becoming it ourselves and so many people are becoming aware that they're then wanting to embody that change themselves too and if we all do that the entire world will change you know so there's nothing to fear even though it is uncertain and our fear is completely valid because it is completely real fear and a real emotion and a real feeling so it is completely valid but there isn't anything to actually fear because fear is not real if that makes sense like it's just a perspective it's a perspective about what could potentially happen but not about what actually is happening so it's like a fear of the unknown a fear of potentials you know so and we know that there's infinite potentials so just as real as the negative ones and the horrific ones so are the positives because anything is possible so I just think it's about perspective and it's about tuning into yourself and tuning into your higher self and really being present with everything that you feel and everything that comes up you know because we are in crazy times right now so self-care is literally the key to be able to ground yourself and not panic so I hope that little message was helpful because it's something that I'm really having to like remind myself of on a daily basis and sit with myself with that so yes that is it for this video I just wanted to give a little introduction and let you know that I actually am back now we are not running away anymore and the content that I want to create is going to be I'm so excited it's going to be like so more 
not more authentic, but like just more parts of me, you know, because we're all multifaceted. We have many aspects to us. And even though I can sit here and talk about all of the spiritual things and the non-physical things, we're still in a physical experience. So like, I think it's really key to talk about how to make money and to talk about how to have good relationships as well, because they're like main things that we're having to experience while we're here, you know? We can't like bypass those things and just jump to the spiritual when everything in this physical reality is spiritual, because that's what we are. So all of the physical things are spiritual too, you know? So yes. Anyway, thank you so much for listening and watching and these podcast episodes will remain every week and then I'll also be doing the other two series every week as well. So there'll be three videos every week. So yes, the next episode of this one will be next week. I hope that makes some sense but if you just go to my YouTube like you can see um, I'm going to make playlists for them as well and you can see the banner and also in the description box I'll have the new series layout actually written down so that it makes more sense than the rambling that I just did because that didn't make any sense to me at all but yes so you can check out the description box for the little like structure format of what's actually happening and then also my website and social media and everything like that is also in the description box below as well as my music new music is coming very soon too I know that has been a complete minute but I was waiting for new equipment and I've learned so many new things about how to produce and everything so as with everything I'm just learning as I go and that's why these things have been quite off and on but just bear with me because we are getting there and I have so many songs already written I just need to record them so now the equipment's all arriving which took ages because we're in a coronavirus situation but now it's all arriving I can get back to it so yes Thank you so much for listening and watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, yeah, think you like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea. Oh, yeah, think you like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea. Oh, yeah, think you might. I'm the thing you like in my range all white. Oh, yeah, think you might. I'm the thing you like in my range all white.